This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 19, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Today we're going to learn about magnetic classifications of sunspot groups. Sunspots come in all sizes and shapes. Some groups of sunspots have more complex magnetic structures than other sunspot groups and are more likely to produce solar flares. But how do we know if a sunspot group is a likely threat for a strong solar flare? To know the differences, the Mount Wilson Observatory in California made rules so that every sunspot region receives a certain magnetic classification. Every single day, the sunspots on the sun are counted and every sunspot group receives a number of magnetic classification and spot classification by the space weather specialists. On our website, you can find an overview of all the sunspot groups together with their classifications. Below, you will get to know what all those mean. The different classifications. A, alpha, an unipolar sunspot group. B, beta, a sunspot group that has a positive and negative polarity or bipolar with a simple division between the polarities. Y or gamma, a complex region in which the positive and negative polarities are so irregularly distributed that they can't be classified as a bipolar sunspot group. By or beta gamma, a bipolar sunspot group, but complex enough so that no line can be drawn between spots of opposite polarity. Next up, we have the Delta class sunspot group, the umbra of opposite polarities in a single penumbra. Next, Beta Delta, a sunspot group with a general beta magnetic configuration but contains one or more delta sunspots. Beta Gamma Delta, a sunspot group with a beta gamma magnetic configuration but contains one or more delta sunspots. And finally, Gamma Delta, a sunspot group with a gamma magnetic configuration but contains one or more delta sunspots. More than half of the observed sunspot groups receive an alpha or beta classification where bigger sunspots are often more complex and get a beta or beta gamma or even beta gamma delta classification. It is well known that delta sunspots can be very active and produce the most intense solar flares. The delta classification. Let's dig a bit deeper into the magnetic delta class. This is the most interesting type of sunspot structure due to the high solar activity which they often cause. With the following list, you can determine whether a sunspot has a magnetic delta structure. Delta groups are often very big and 90% of the sunspots have a reverse polarity with a high activity level, especially when big solar flares erupt. These have mostly complex, unusual, or broken views of the umbra. You're looking here at a beta gamma delta sunspot group. Delta groups are formed by the aggregation of sunspots with opposite polarities of various dipoles, which are linked to shared magnetic field lines rather than direct magnetic lines. All spots are located in the penumbral region. Delta spots rarely last longer than one rotation of our sun. They decay quicker than other sunspots. However, new delta spots can form within the same area. Delta sunspot groups usually do not separate, but rather die together. Active delta 
sunspot groups emit strong H-alpha emissions. Sometimes filaments can come out of these groups as well. Using a magnetogram image, we can see the complexity of any sunspot. This is an example of a very complex sunspot group with a beta gamma delta magnetic classification as seen by NASA's STO HMI instrument. This sunspot region was a source of a major X2.3 solar flare. Again, this image is a so-called magnetogram image and shows the magnetic layout of any sunspot region. The red color indicates sunspots or areas with a negative polarity, and the blue color indicates areas with positive polarity sunspots. So, in closing, we've learned that a delta-class sunspot is the most dangerous, or really a beta-gamma delta sunspot group is the most dangerous, and that is what we have been seeing out of a lot of the sunspots lately. God bless you and yours. Please subscribe, please share our video, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you.